Hello. In this video today, we're going to talk about how to set up the Parker Automation Controller with the PAN software for communication with a universal robot over the Modbus TCP protocol. So to go ahead and get started, we'll go to File, New, and we'll select an empty project, and we'll give it whatever name we'd like. And once we hit OK, you can see it's auto-populating everything we've got here on the left. Uh, the first thing to do is select your pack and scan the network. And if we were actually connected to a pack, it would show up there. Uh, we can hit the OK button. And when we hit OK, that green light would show up, uh, showing us that we've got connections. Um, you can see once we connect to the pack, all of that will show up below. Uh, next thing we're going to do is add a global variable list. Uh, this is a list of variables that we can use throughout the entire program. I'm just going to go in here and show you what I've got. Um, I've got some variables that are going to be outputs and some variables that are going to be inputs uh, going to the Compax3 drive and also going to the Universal Robot as well as the Embedded Express Visualization Software. Um, so next what we're going to go and do is show you the ETH motion. This is um, one of the structure text programs that controls the basic motion. Uh, up top are my variables, and I'm creating instances of certain um, PLC open motion function blocks. And then basically, this program just does is it waits for a, a home command from the visualization software, and then just uh, extends and retracts the ETH actuator. Um, this structure text program we have here just uh, handles some I/O and some buttons. And uh, now we're going to go dip into the EtherCAT master and make sure its event type is uh, external event. Okay, and then what we can do is we can basically drag our POUs, our program organization units, down into the EtherCAT master task so that they're given a time slice when we run the, the project. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to scan our EtherCAT uh, network to basically find devices on there. So if we were actually connected, you'd see that the uh, Cognex, or I'm sorry, the Compax3 would show up, as well as maybe a few Pack IO modules if you had them on there, and it's going to auto-populate underneath. Um, you can see right here we've got a Compax set up. Uh, we can click on Compax to make sure the settings are correct. Uh, we want to make sure our uh, distributed set as distributed clocks, and uh, let's make sure the EtherCAT mapping is set to enable to always in the bus cycle. Right. Now when we click on ETH, we can uh, set some software limits, just put the software limit way up, uh, set our velocity ramp so that it's a smooth profile, and now we're doing scaling. Uh, we've got a 2,000 line encoder, post quadrature gives us 8,000 counts. And uh, just use a parent bus cycle for the ETH, and we should be good to go. And now we're going to add our Modbus TCP slave device. Uh, this will be basically done by adding a device called Ethernet under the pack, and under the Ethernet device, we'll go ahead and add our Modbus slave. Um, and our Modbus slave is where we're um, taking in all of our inputs and outputs from the embedded Express software. So if we go ahead and expand some of these variables, you can see some I've already created, and they're just instances of the variables from my uh, global variable list. So home ETH, start ETH, home UR, start UR, some grabs. And then we've got our outputs, uh, some position outputs we're sending, which are words. And then we've got some bits we're sending out um, that's homing and starting the universal robot. Um, so once we've set up all that, the, the next thing and the last thing we have to do is basically go online, uh, make sure we're connected to the pack, go online, and start the program. <laughs> 